this is my 2020 Honda Shadow 750. I bought this bike when I was working at a dealership. I got a good deal on it because I was working there. And it was brand new, had zero miles on it. And a lot of people were like, oh no, that bike's going to be too small for you. And all that stuff, because I am 6'4". Now, this Honda Shadow 750 has been amazing. Like, it was my first cruiser. It's... Within within a year, I put 25,000 miles on this bike. I went everywhere on this thing. And it has it's had plenty of power for interstate speeds. And I love the price of maintenance on this thing, which is little to none. Like a lot of people say, change the oil, don't change the oil. It's a Honda. You know, it'll last forever. And this bike has really proven to me that these bikes are indestructible because I have absolutely run this thing into the ground <laughs> it's still running I, I love this bike it's been amazing uh, when i first got it it was completely stocked i hated the stock handlebars on this bike they were just horrible now i did find some good sized apes that were about 10 inches so i didn't have to change the stock cables on it and it made it a whole lot com lot more comfortable for my tall butt now <clears throat> I eventually went on and added some crash bars and like a month after I bought it, a dog came out and hit my crash bars and it bent them in, but I was able to bend them out. No problem. Added some highway pegs and them highway pegs for my big old tall self made the biggest difference in the world on how comfortable this bike was. It was, it, it was, it was, it was nice. You know, I was able to stretch out and just like that, you know, it, it was, it was really sweet. I love this bike. And then I started going on, I got some hard bags for it, I eventually got a fairing for it, like a Batwing fairing, which made the somewhat small looking bike look bigger, and fit me better. And it was nice, especially riding on the interstate, it knocked a lot of the wind off. But once I got my VTX, I ended up figuring out a way to swap that fairing over from my Shadow to my VTX, and I used my Shadow for my around town bike. 57 miles to the gallon, you know, it, it, it just seems more reasonable. And it's saying so lightweight, I felt like I could just sling this thing around and wherever I go. And it's just an overall fun bike with little to no maintenance at all. And I've just absolutely fell in love with this bike. I still have it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't plan on getting rid of it either because it, it's my baby. I've added lights to it, saddle, hard bags. Crash bars, handlebar, sissy bar for my wife to be able to ride with me. She's like 4'11". She's real tiny, so she uh, fits on the back of that bike really well. And this bike has not given me a single issue. I've got over 26,000 miles on it now. Now, don't get me wrong. I love my big bike. My 1800 is amazing, especially for my size. It's just more comfortable. But I use that bike mostly for long distance riding with my with my MC and going to events and stuff like that. And I strictly use my shadow because it get, does get better gas mileage and it's more, it's fun to ride around town. I use it just for going around town, going back and forth to work and just use my big bike for when I do on trips and stuff like that. It's a lot more comfortable for long distance. Now it, there's nothing bad to say about the shadow. If you're looking to get one and you're worried about it being too small, put it this way, I'm 6'4", and this bike has been a great motorcycle for me. I still ride it, and I'm not giving up on it. <laughs> you know, it's my baby. I may be 6'4", but this bike does not feel small for me, and I will put a another video of me riding this bike connected to this one just wait a few seconds and it'll pop up right about now this is me riding my 2020 shadow 750 not too bad looking on it i absolutely love the bike so if you're considering getting a vt or sorry getting a honda shadow 750 i absolutely 100 percent recommend them they are long lasting durable bikes they're a good starter bike, good medium bike. People who've been riding their bikes their entire lives will sometimes go back to that bike just because it's such an easy bike to handle. It's just great. You know, you can do whatever you want on this bike. 
I mean, I absolutely love it. It's been amazing. And there's just so many upgrade options too to just make this bike your own. So if you're thinking about getting a Honda Shadow 750, it's on your list. Go to your local dealership, do a test drive, see if that bike's for you. Because it definitely was for me and I still love it and don't ever plan on getting rid of it. So thanks guys. Until the next one, y'all have a good one. God bless.